welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Media, where we are the voices inside your head. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. And today we aren't playing anything. We're Reddit take, time. We're taking a look. <laughs> yep, Jonas, it's Reddit time. We're <laughs> taking a look at Reddit at a very spicy, spicy subreddit. Am I the a-hole? Yes. So we're going to read the story and we're going to decide whether or not that this individual is an a-hole or not. 19,000 upvotes. So it's it's a hot topic. Yeah, yeah. this is hot. This one It's is, actually from today, 15 is. hours ago. So my aunt Mara, 45-year-old female, has two kids, Reese, a 13-year-old female, and Laura, a 9-year-old female. Mara, that's the aunt, always clearly preferred Laura. Okay, the younger kid. Okay. Yeah, Reese uh, Reese always knew it, too. My aunt always makes sure Laura can do the extracurricular she wants to do. She lets her drop out at any time, even if she's paid in advance. She gives her the birthday she wants every year, and in general, she's more affectionate and interested in what Laura is up to. With Reese, she pushed her into into dance, and she had and she was five when she was five, and made her do dance for four years. Reese never liked dance and never seemed to fit in. Mara hated it. She would ask her why she couldn't put more effort into it, and etc. Um, she had always wanted her daughter to. She had always wanted her daughter who did dance. She'd always wanted a daughter who did dance. I get it. Okay. She always wanted a daughter to do dance. You ever you ever do any dance? No, and that seems weird. Like, oh, I always wanted a daughter who would do dance. Like, so if she didn't do dance, then F her. That's the thing. It's like <laughs> I find a lot of parents like to live vicariously through their kids. Yeah. And it's like, you know, you want your daughter to be a model. You want your daughter to be a dance. It sounds, sounds like, you know. I always wished I'd play piano, so you're going to play piano. And you're like, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah. And it, it kind of it's like, uh, you know, are you, is it like good parenting or is it like you trying to force your own shortcomings? Onto your child. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I agree, dude. Either way, um, I, 18 year old female, I am not an 18 year old female, yeah. was around there a lot because Aunt Mara babysat me for my parents while they worked, and then I just had to wait at her house until my parents got home so we could save on electric bills and what? stuff. I, she's 18. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> yes. I that, once asked. Those three hours you'd be watching TV wreck the home. Just to run up my light <laughs> bill. <laughs> anyway. I, won, I once asked Aunt Mara why Reese couldn't do something she wanted to do, and she told me that, or she told me they didn't have money for it. Reese never got to do another never got to do another one but Lara has several I, I don't it's, yeah the, it's, the nomenclature the, the, yeah it's fine yeah soccer dance art and swimming right now okay all right so, so. basically Laura's doing a ton they don't have enough money for for uh for Reese for Reese to do anything yeah Reese okay. wanted to do cheerleading most likely uh, but she she's also done basketball photography gymnastics which really upset Reese because she always wanted to do gymnastics. Okay. And guitar, piano, drums, and singing. We scroll down a little bit. We hit the. Absolutely. We, okay. Uh, I lost my place. Hold on one second. Uh, the guitar and dance singing. Aunt Mara also discards Reese's plans and has made her cancel to look after her sister, but also made Reese skip her plans when Laura has them and they conflict. Yeah, this person did not write very well, but... So, so you have to skip your plans to look after your little sister and if your plans conflict with her, you gotta do your little sister's plans too. Okay. Alright. And Alright, so all, already just from what you've read so far, do you think that there's a chance that maybe the, the older sister just didn't realize how good they had it when they were an only child? Because we're talking about like a, what, a five-year difference here? Yeah, well, yeah, dude. Like well, Four-year difference. <clears throat> um, it's like I feel like sometimes the second kid always gets it, be it better because like, like the first kid, like it was like she was like, 
you you have to do dance. Maybe the kid even wanted to do dance at first. Yeah. And then they're like, no, you're not going to quit. You're going to do dance. Well, then the kid was a little a hole about it and made it horrible for everyone. So then like, so then like when the other kid came around, they're like, well, what do you actually want to do? Because we had this terrible experience with your sister, right. you, you know. Um, but it definitely seems like you know there's some favoritism. But the little kid tends to get what they want over the older kid anyway. I always tell the story about how um, I'm the youngest myself and I have an older brother and an older sister. I always tell the story about how my my brother would complain that uh, I never had to wash dishes when I was growing up. Okay. And I was like, uh, yeah, well, they didn't have dishwashers when you were growing up, <laughs> you I mean, old motherfudger. You know, it's like, so... It's a fair point. It yeah. is a fair point. I was like, yeah, I bet you weren't using the internet either. Right, I got the yeah. internet when I was growing yeah, up and cell phones. mad that you got to use the internet as a kid? Exactly. <laughs> so it's just, it just little things like that. But on the same note, he was he got all the years with my mom, and he got like to have like a sister who was there with him. By the time I was old enough to even communicate, everybody was gone. So it just kind of felt to him like he was getting a short yeah. end of Well, stick. you got to be an only child with two brothers and sisters, essentially. Yeah, essentially, I <laughs> yeah. did. All right, in the last year and a half, Reese just decided to say F everyone. She's definitely weighted down by it all. We talk about it because she said I'm the only one who acknowledges it, but I definitely have noticed. We were all gathered for our family dinner Sunday. It was at my grandparents' birthday this week, and uh, so the family decided to celebrate on Sunday. Okay, hold on. What's up? Before we even move further. Sure. Just based on that statement alone, if she did something to cause a fudge and scene at your grandparents' birthday party, that already kind of makes her an a-hole. Which regardless we're talking of about the said. OP. We want to know if the OP is the a-hole. <clears throat> yeah, but like here's the thing. If you have something you need to say to someone, mm -hmm. doing it at someone's birthday party is an a-hole move. Okay. Because it's their birthday party, and now you're making it about you and what you feel. Okay. Fair. But and I mean, that's just a general, I don't know what she said. or we don't know, Yeah, we don't yeah. know yet. But just off that statement, I'm like, oh, at a birthday party, it bro? May, it may have come to a head. It, we don't know. And that's true. Know. Absolutely. Right. <clears throat> so it was the birthday party, and Reese was in a really bad mood. Aunt Mara told her she was bringing down the mood, and Reese got up and left the table. Aunt Mara said she didn't know what she what was up with her but she's always acting like the whole world is out to get her i mentioned that maybe if she did show such blatant favoritism reese would would be uh, happier my aunt and parents were pissed i would bring it <laughs> pissed that i would even bring it up my grandparents asked what i meant aunt mara said i didn't know what i was talking about and reese is such a drama queen i told my grandparents what i meant and they were shocked Aunt Mara said Reese never wanted to do anything. Grandma remembered how often Reese would ask to do gymnastics. Scroll down. I am. It's only a little bit left anywhere. Okay. Um, but it says, my parents told me it wasn't the correct time or place to bring it up, and I embarrassed Aunt Mara. Am I the a-hole? Yes. Their parent, her parents were absolutely correct. You think that this young, you think that OP is an a-hole? Only, I feel like bringing it up to the aunt is fine. Bringing it up to the aunt at your grandparents' birthday party in front of the whole family, that's a private thing. Or you could have told your mom to talk to your aunt. But Reese was having, she, Reese was in a bad mood, dude. I mean. Okay, so Jonas says that bringing it up at the time makes her the a-hole. Yeah, I, th I think, because here's what I think. It, yes, there was an incident, but that ha dude, how many family gatherings have you been at where like your little cousin's acting a fool and your and your aunt or uncle's like, get the hell out of here, go in the living room, go ask, leave me alone, you're being a jerk, whatever. It happens. They're kids. They're 13. They have crazy emotions. Affair. And then and then too, on top of it, in front of everyone, bring up something very subjective. Because she doesn't know the whole story, potentially. Like, it sounds like it, but she's also p portraying it in her favor. Um, in, in favor of... I mean, it's not like she, the OP is looking for any sympathy herself. Right, exactly. All right, so, okay, so in rebuttal to what you're saying here, I have to say is that the first time, or the best time to, to bring up the fact that your daughter might be having an issue with the favoritism... Uh, would be the first time it happened. 
the second best time would be right now. If your daughter's having a problem with it, and you're, and obviously uh, Aunt Mara isn't even aware of what's going on, I feel like it needs to be brought to her attention. Might not have been the best time to bring it up because, yes, it's the grandparents' birthday party, but it's grandparents' birthday party. They don't care. Yeah, I mean, they, and honestly, it probably was eye-opening for Grandma because Grandma yeah. wants to know what's happening. She's a patriarch, the exactly. matriarch, whatever, you know? And I, I would like to think that out of this whole outcome that the greater good does come across and that Aunt Mara has made some peace with with her own seed mm-hmm. and that, uh, you know, eventually they come to some sort of a uh, consensus. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. It, it doesn't even say that, like, there was an incident of favoritism that sparked this. So it would be one thing if, if like, if, like, you're at the table, Reese, Lara, Mara, all of them are all hanging out, right? And Reese wants the last piece of cake, and she blatantly gives it to, to Lara. And she's like, Mom, I wanted that cake. Why did you give it? And she's like, <laughs> and she's just like, you're being a drama queen. Chill the F out. Get out of here blatant act of favoritism in yeah, front of everyone yeah, yeah. but the kid could have just been in a in a teen angst mood because most she likely. didn't get to like go to the mall or something most, I know the kids will go to the mall but most you know likely but that can be dismissive last thing you want to do is be dismissive if she's feeling that the favoritism may have been like the it might have been like cumulatively building up inside of her and that she was just like i'm so done with my own mother at this point then yeah it might be best to bring it up i don't know Let's take a look at some of the comments. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, are up. you sorted by best? Oh, yeah, sorted by top. Okay, cool, cool. Right, so uh, I can't read that. But you got to scroll what? down a little bit. I can read them. All right. Uh, do not, don't. That's the, that's the bot comment. Oh, okay. Scroll down a little oh, bit. Man. Okay. My parents told me it wasn't the correct time or place to bring it up. NTA. Not the a-hole. Not the a-hole. Your aunt's behavior is what embarrassed her, and it's gonna have to. It's gonna. Ha- it's going to have done so regardless of when you brought it up. That's right. That's right. Next top comment. Uh, those. It's those are. You guys keep scrolling. Those are. Those are. Uh, those aren't parent comments. Oh, okay. Um, it isn't like our phones <laughs> where we can. Know, right? That's what sucks about going to the actual website because it, it just does the whole spider web of comments. How do, like, how do I like get it to go away? Oh, so up on the main comment, hit the negative. Right next to the arrow, a little bit to the right, right there. Right yeah. Yep. Your aunt disgusts me. You're not the a hole. My heart goes out to E. <laughs> Reese, hit hit the minus again. That's hard to do. It's right next to the big arrow, basically. I can't see the cursor. Uh, and no, that yeah, that NTA. If she was embarrassed, she probably doesn't knowingly knows it's looked down upon. But doesn't change a thing. Good for you, standing up for your cousin. All right, I got one here that says the fact that OP's parents were okay with the child being treated that way is even more concerning. And that—that's kind of my—that was kind of my idea. It wasn't it? Might not have been the best time, but it is something that had to be brought to, to the ants' attention. Aunt Mary, the universe. Um, yeah, I feel like. Your grandparents' 92nd birthday or whatever the frick it was doesn't really... If you want to bring up some bullshit that's going on at my birthday, I'm not going to care, and I'm yeah, not 90. Yeah, yeah. And see, I don't think she's an a-hole for bringing it up. I just think the timing was bad. Oh, yeah, I agree. Yeah, so, like, ultimately, if no one's going to stand up for your cousin, you need to stand up for your cousin, dude. All right, I got a gilded one here. I'm actually reading from my phone because it's, I just funny. know how to use it a little bit better. It says, OP parents were very poor according to her description. She hung out at Aunt Mara's house in order to save electricity at her own <laughs> home. <laughs> right? So it's unlikely that they had other uh, childcare options. Common sense says that you don't put someone on blast when you desperately need their help. Valid point, but she is 18. Yeah. Welcome to the world of not working or, or uh, being poor. The problem here is uh, the aunt. Good for OP for sticking up for the cousin. Fair. But she has nothing to lose here, so it's not a reflection on the character of her own parents that they never said anything. They may not even have known, given that they seemed to work a lot. They owe the aunt a lot for providing years of free childcare and not going to attack it. That That's fair, too. I mean... Yeah, I mean, sometimes you. Sometimes I feel, especially in family situations, mm-hmm. you keep your mouth shut about stuff that ain't your business because there, there's other things <sighs> that are. You know what I mean? We like, can't get better if we don't call each other oh, out, I, man. Dude, I, I feel you. 
are we supposed to grow? Oh, I, I get it. So, Jones, in closing, what do you say? I think ultimately she's not the a-hole. Okay, so it can be either you are the a-hole, not the a-hole, everybody's horrible here, or everybody's the a-hole, or nobody's the a-hole. I think the ant's the a-hole ultimately. You think the ant is ultimately a-hole, which is saying that OP is not the a-hole. Yeah, other than timing, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah. And I agree. Uh, I, I think that the timing is not best, but I think it's dwarfed in comparison to the fact that Aunt Mara apparently does not either, either she just didn't want to admit to it, or she didn't even understand that her, her own child was having these feelings. Now which, I must say, there's a lot to this dynamic we don't know. Oh wow, dude, we're just going off of what right. we read for, here. But like, for all, for all we know, this 13 year old kid is a little terror and causes her aunt so much effing strife in her life. She's like, she, she could have been arrested. She could be in juvie. She, she could, don't deserve to do gymnastics. Right. You could. She could be finding out she's out out sneaking out of the house and Get doing all sorts. Get your grades up. Right. Exactly. So, at face value, yes, but there there could be a lot of underlying things. Fair enough. Yeah. So. I, mean, right. I, gotta so make sure I say, I say not that. the a-hole. Jonas says not the a-hole. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. What All do right. you think? Put it in the comments. All right. Fair enough. Yeah. Uh, and on the next episode. All right. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, leave some comments. Let us know what you think about the a-hole. If you're the a-hole, she's the a-hole. I mean, I could be the a-hole. I'm Jonas. I'm an a-hole. <laughs> TNT. Uh, we are out.